The upcoming Road to GH will reveal that after her release, Heather took time to reflect on her tumultuous past in Port Charles. She realizes that life there no longer has a place for her, and staying would only bring more trouble to those she once hurt. After much consideration, Heather agrees to move with her son, Stephen, to Sedona, a peaceful place far from painful memories. Before leaving, Heather meets everyone and solemnly promises never to return to Port Charles as a commitment to begin a new, more peaceful life. Nevertheless, Heather has one final wish, to see Ace one last time. To her, Ace is a comfort and a glimmer of hope, someone who has shown her a part of life she always longed for but never truly had. This desire to see Ace one last time is Heather's way of closing her past, allowing her to move forward without any lingering burdens. Heather genuinely loves Ace, seeing him as a great source of encouragement. Ace and her son, Stephen, are her only remaining loved ones, and her feelings for them are sincere and deep. The decision to leave Port Charles is not easy for Heather. Leaving a place where she has so many memories, though mostly painful, and being apart from Ace makes her feel as if she's losing an important part of her life. But deep down, she understands that leaving is the right choice. Heather realizes that staying in Port Charles would only bring challenges and instability to both Ace and Stephen. She wants them to have a peaceful life, unaffected by her past mistakes. Moving to Sedona is her way of starting fresh, creating a healthier environment for her family. This decision also reflects her sacrifice and deep love for Ace and Stephen. Although Heather has chosen a peaceful life and a fresh start, the dark past of both Stephen and herself remains a stain that is hard to erase in the eyes of many. The horrific things Stephen has done not only deeply hurt his victims, but also instilled insecurity in the Port Charles community. Furthermore, while Heather wants to put all grudges behind her to live a new life, her enemies and the victims from her dark days still remain, lingering like ghosts that cannot be banished. Leaving Port Charles may help Heather find peace, but it does not guarantee her safety forever. Her victims and those who despise the crimes she committed will not easily forget the past. Deep down, Heather knows she might still be chased and haunted by the sins she and Stephen committed. This makes her journey toward peace not only a turning point, but also a tough challenge, fraught with danger from those seeking revenge and justice. The new life in Sedona may offer Heather and Stephen a chance to start over, but with the shadows of their past trailing them, can they truly escape the nightmare they themselves created? On the road to Sedona, tragedy strikes when Heather and Stephen's car explodes, leaving both missing and shocking everyone. The blast stirs up many questions in the Port Charles community, with no one certain who is behind this brutal act. However, the greatest suspicions point toward Curtis, who has a clear motive to want to end Heather's life once and for all. To Curtis, Heather is a never-ending nightmare, a constant threat in the lives of his wife and daughter. Heather has caused immense harm, making Curtis's loved ones suffer distress and insecurity. Though there is no solid proof, many believe that Curtis, in his fury and desire to protect his family, decided to take matters into his own hands, protecting those he loves, by removing Heather from their lives forever. Curtis has long carried the fear that Heather would continue to harm his family if she remained alive. This suspicion adds to the tense and heavy atmosphere in Port Charles. People wonder, would Curtis actually dare to act so decisively? Or is there another enemy silently exacting revenge on Heather and Stephen? The answer remains in the dark, but this shocking explosion has awakened everyone, reminding them of the terrible dangers Heather and her past bring. Heather has not just one, but numerous enemies, each with their own reasons for hating her and wishing to end her life. Among Heather's enemies are former victims who have lost family, property, or peace because of her ruthless schemes. They await the chance to seek justice, or at least to make Heather pay for what she's done. Others are hidden foes, silently tracking Heather's every move, waiting for the right moment to strike. Heather once thought that leaving Port Charles would be her only way to find peace, but she did not expect that her dark past would follow her to the end. The ghosts of her deeds are unrelenting, and perhaps the car explosion is only the beginning of an unavoidable chain of retribution. 
Now, Heather must not only confront her past but also face a harsh reality. Leaving Port Charles may not save her, as her enemies are everywhere, and the hatred she has sown has become a tide that threatens to take her life at any moment. Thank you.